Hey everybody, Mr. Math Blog here. This lesson is uh, equations of parallel and perpendicular lines. Don't forget all your lessons can be found at MrMathBlog.com. Let's go to that and then make sure you go to the Integrated Math 1 link right here. So here's uh, MrMathBlog.com right there. And then so uh, you're going to go and hit this link right here. And when you hit that link, it'll take us to Integrated Math 1. And so uh, that is this uh, thing right here. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, anyways, and so if we scroll down, right down here, I've actually have it loaded right here. Let's just go here. There it is. Okay, so if we scroll down, it's going to be right down below this one right here. So this is going to be module uh, 19.5. Okay, let's get started with this lesson here. So there's our uh, essential question is how can we find uh, the equation of a line that is either parallel or perpendicular to a given line? So we'll talk about parallel and perpendicular. But before we do that, we got to talk about slopes. So we've done this before. So slopes of lines. Remember the formula uh, y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. And I think I called this 4, 1, x1, one, y1, one, and this negative 4, negative 3, my x2, y2 right there. So when I plug these in, it's going to be this y minus this y right here over this x minus this x right here. Let's see if I did that right right there. Yeah, okay, so we get negative 4 over negative 8, which equals 1 half. Okay, so there's slope formula. Now, if they give you a picture like they do here, we can do its uh, rise over run. Okay, so our rise is you go from the left point on the point on the left, and you see how much do we go up. So we went up 4, that's our rise, and then our run is from here how much it went over to the right. So it went over to the right, uh, 8, so up 4 over 8. That is also one half right there, okay? All right, so let's graph these two equations right here. Y equals 2 times the quantity x plus 1, and y equals 2x minus 3. Okay, so let's take that top equation and distribute 2 through. Okay, now what we're going to do first is you go up to this intercept at plus 2. So I'm going to put a point right here, and then I'll use this slope 2 over, this is 2 over 1 when there's a number not underneath it. So I'll go from here, we'll go up two more and then go over one and put another point right there okay so there they are right there connect those up right there now let's do the same with this one here so we're going to go down to this minus three which is down right there and then from there we'll use this slope which is two over one again so from down here we'll go up 2 over 1, and I think I did that in red right there, okay? Yeah, so there it is right there. Okay, so what do we notice about these two lines? Well, these lines sure look like they're parallel, so they are parallel. What do you notice about their slopes? Well, their slopes are both 2, so they're equal to each other right there. So parallel lines have equal slopes, okay? Do you remember that? All right, so the graphs of uh, x plus 3y equals 22 is this line right here, and and this y equals uh, 3x minus 14 is this line right here, okay? So this part's saying, it's going to say, use a protractor to find the measure of the angle formed by the intersection of the lines, okay? And so what does that tell us about the lines? All right, okay, so let's take this protractor right here, and we're just going to make sure that this little point right there where the, the crosshairs cross is right there at that angle. Then i got to rotate it up. So let me do this. And then I'm going to rotate this zero down. So it, it rotates down. I'm going to make sure the zero, the line lines up right there. Okay, so see the zero right there? And then since it's the bottom number, if we go all the way over to here, we find out that that is a, a 90 degree angle. So let me get rid of this now. I'm going to get rid of that. So it's a 90 degree angle. So it says, um, uh, uh, what is the measure of the angle formed? It's 90 degrees. And what does that tell us? Well, that tells us that those lines are perpendicular. Okay, so what are the slopes of the two lines and how are they related? Okay, well, the slope of this one here is 3 because it's y equals mx plus b. Well, if we took this one and solved for y, I did that right here. I solved for y, so uh, I subtracted x from both sides and then divided by 3. Whoops, I forgot my thirds right there. This should be 22 thirds, but I'm just focused on this slope right here, negative 1 third. This should be 22 thirds right there. I don't know why I missed that right there, but so there's the slope. It's negative 1 third. So what, uh, how are they related? Well, negative 1 third and positive 3 are opposite reciprocals of each other. So when the lines are perpendicular, then they're opposite reciprocals of each other.
each other. So let's answer a couple of questions. If two non-vertical lines are blank, then they have equal slope. Well, that's when they were parallel. If two non-vertical lines are perpendicular, then the product, product means multiply, the product of their slopes is what? Well, in that last problem, the perpendicular lines we had were uh, uh, negative one-third was one slope and three was the other slope, so product means multiply. If we multiplied those, it would be negative one. So the product of perpendicular lines, the product of their slopes is always negative one. And remember, perpendicular is that upside down capital T, and this is our symbol for parallel right here, so I'm going to use these symbols from now on for the words perpendicular and parallel, okay? So let's write an equation of the line in slope-intercept form, okay? And here's the first one. The line that is parallel to this line, so we're going to use this slope right here because it, parallel means equal slope, and it passes through this point right here, negative 1, 2, okay? So parallel lines means where they're equal slope, so we'll use that slope of 5, and then we'll just put it in uh, point-slope form. Point-slope form, you guys probably aren't used to this, but it sure is easy, you guys, if you know a point and you know the slope, because I'm just going to plug that in for x sub 1, plug that in for, um, I'm sorry, yeah, for x sub 1, this is going to go right here, and then this 2 is going to go right here, and then this 5 is going to go right here, okay, so there we are, right there, and then uh, clean it up, x minus a minus 1 is x plus 1, and then we'll put, uh, distribute the 5 through to get 5x plus 5, and and then we'll add 2 to both sides, so we'll go plus 2 plus 2 right here, and we get uh, y equals 5x plus 7. And there it is in slope-intercept form, y equals mx plus b. Let's try another one. Okay, this one is parallel to y equals negative 3x plus 4 and passes through this line. So same problem. We're going to use uh, the same slope. Parallel lines have equal slopes, so the slope required here is negative 3. So put it in point-slope form right there. So y minus y sub 1, we're going to go y minus a minus minus. 6 becomes y plus 6 equals the slope times x minus this x right here. Now we're going to go uh, minus 6 minus 6. So when we subtract 6 from... Uh from 27, we get uh, y equals negative 3x plus 21. Easy, huh? Okay, one more. Okay, so this slope is 3 halves. So here we go. Y uh, minus y sub 1 is 0 uh, equals 3 halves times x minus a minus 4 is x plus 4. Okay, now y minus 0 is just y, and then I'll distribute this 3 halves through. Okay, 3 halves times 4. I did that right over here. So this uh, 2 goes into 4 twice, and we're left with 3 times 2, which is 6. So this becomes y y equals uh, 3 halves x plus 6, okay? All right, now let's do it with perpendicular, okay? So same method, except we're using perpendicular slope. So perpendicular lines have opposite reciprocals, which means the products are negative 1. So an opposite reciprocal of positive 4 is negative 1 fourth. So we just use this slope, this point, and bing, bang, boom, and we got it, okay? So here we go. So there it is in point-slope form, and so we just substitute in negative 1 fourth, and we substitute in x equals 3, y equals negative 1, and here we go right here. Okay, and then we're going to go ahead and multiply, uh, distribute this negative 1 fourth through. So negative 1 fourth times negative 3 is over here. It gets me a positive 3 fourths, so that's why this is plus 3 fourths right here. Okay, then we're going to subtract 1, but when I subtract 1, I'm going to actually subtract 4 fourths. Okay, so 3 3 fourths minus 4 fourths is a negative 1 fourth. Okay, so there's our equation. Y equals negative 1 fourth x minus 1 fourth. You guys can do that, okay? Do it with this one, okay? Perpendicular and going through that point. So perpendicular, we're going to use a perpendicular slope, which is a positive 5 halves. Okay, so there it is. Um, so the products of the slopes is negative 1, so we need uh, 5 halves. So there we go. We plug in 5 halves. We plug in this ordered pair right there and then subtract 8 after we distribute the 5 halves through. Uh, here I did 5 halves times 6. 2 goes into 6 3 times, so 5 times 3 is 15, so that's where that came from right there. And then we subtract 8 from 15, and we get 7 right there, okay? All right, and then uh, they'll try to trip you up a little bit with something like this, okay? All right, this equation is the same as this right here, okay? And I don't care about the one-third part. I just want to know perpendicular to that slope. So perpendicular slope is to be opposite reciprocal. So since this is positive, then we want a negative, and it's going to be a negative three-fifths, okay? So perpendicular slope is negative three-fifths, and we plug it into point-slope form, and we get that. 
and then uh, distributing through and adding one to both sides, and there's our answer right there, okay? All right, and the book has this answer. They put it back as a common denominator. They just figured, well, it started with this sort of form right here, so they put it back right there. This is cool with me right here if you're in my class. Either one's okay. All right, if you're in my class, that's going to be your assignment. Take care.